That shit pulled up to my city like Aloha, yeah Quarantine, yeah That quarantine ain't no time I came to US about six, seven years ago from Canada, but I'm originally from Afghanistan. I was born and um, raised until I was about 10 years old. And uh, I left Afghanistan because we were under similar circumstances like we are today, not for the virus, but um, a state of uh, mind where things were very uncertain and we were dealing with a war. And it was, of course, more exaggerated and more dramatic than what we're going through. So the reason that I started doing something for the community is um, mostly because of my own personal experiences being in a place where people are afraid and they're uncertain and they're not sure of what to do next. So by creating these uh, masks, I thought was the least that I could do. I am blessed to be able to have um, accessories like my machine right at home and uh, being able to help my community which I absolutely love. Um, being in Arizona for the last six or seven years has really opened up so many opportunities for me to meet such amazing community of people where they just welcome me with so much love and friendships and um, seeing them especially in the healthcare uh, facilities where they were scrambling and trying to find PPE um, it was really a no-brainer. Um, I had to look into it and find out the best way that I can protect um, the community that I am so protective of. So this is the reason that I'm here today and um, just giving back in the littlest, tiniest way that I can. And I'm ever grateful that I could be of any assistance. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. As you know, we're going through some really rough times right here in USA and of course across the globe. Um, a few precautions that we have seen that is necessary for us to protect ourselves and our loved ones and of course everyone else in the community is wearing something as simple as a mask. So as you know there are many options out there but we want to give you um, something that you can resonate with, something that you can wear and be comfortable with. So there are a number of different types of masks um, that I have made in the past and um, these are just some examples. Um, a lot of people uh, like different things, so I've given them that option. But the one piece that I find that is most effective and has been approved by the medical healthcare industry um, is uh, these ones that are made from the HEPA bag filters. So as you can see, it indicates that it's 99. Okay, so these are actually the HEPA filter vacuum filters, and um, you want to look for this brand. It's 99% effective against house debris and also um, the bacteria and anything in the air, including uh, the viruses that we're facing today. So I'm going to show you in a very simple way of how you can actually do this on your own. And um, the best thing about this is not only is it effective, it's actually very uh, comfortable. It's breathable, so it's really good for people who have anxiety wearing things on their mouth and people who have who are claustrophobic. So all you need to begin with are the filter bags. So they look something like this. You pull them out, out of the bag and you need one of, one of these, a pipe cleaner. You can fold that in half and just leave it on the side. And you need an 11 inch um, elastic band. You would need a pair of those. Um, a needle and thread. I usually have it ready to go. And of course your pattern for the mask and your HEPA filter bag. So the first thing that you need to do is you want this bag to be opened up so you can use as much of it as possible. The first thing you do is you cut through the side seam. 
and you simply cut through as shown and this allows us to get right in there and open it up as much as possible so we can use as much of this bag as possible and um, maximize the number of filters that we can get so you do this on four sides and this is what happens the seam allowance is right there so for the sake of this video I'm going to show what it's going to look like once the four sides are done and as you can see it looks a lot bigger a larger surface area and what you do is you take with your scissors you go around and just follow the outline of this mask and then again we continue doing this after we outline the pattern we follow it all around making sure that this side is facing you and it's going to end up something like this so what you do at this point is you open it up lay it flat and you take the top layer of the five layer filter off you lay this about an inch away from the edge and with your hot glue you glue down one side of the pipe cleaner try not to get it on your hands <laughs> It's a little bit hot. So you press that down. And this is important because this is giving you the nose strip, which is really important to just um, give you more control and give you a better fit once the mask is ready. Now what we do, we are trying to stitch right across the widest part of this mask on both sides. So you place the mask under the footer and you start stitching at about one quarter inch away from the edge. Always a good idea to do a back stitch to lock it in and you continue. We do the same on the other end. So we're going to pretend that we have done this side as well. So what we do now is we take our elastic band and we make sure that it goes end to end and it's going to be a little bit loose and that's exactly what you want. So what we do, usually some people like to just use the machine and run over the elastic band but I feel it's a little bit more secure when you actually use your thread and your needle. So we are going to be stitching the two ends. Just like this. Making it as secure as possible. Because we have to remember that everybody's different and um, this needs to fit as many people as possible. So the elastic band is great in, in the sense that it does stretch without breaking. So we continue doing the same on the other four ends. So what we will end up is the elastic band sitting inside So for the sake of the video, again, I am just going to do this one end to show you how it's done. But you can continue doing the same thing on both ends. And then what you do is you close the two sides and run this again under the machine, making sure that the elastic band is not on the way.
it's always a good idea to go over this a couple times to make sure. And locking the stitch. So we continue doing this on the other side as well. So what you end up with is something that looks like this. So you will end up having two elastic bands. This is a little bit on the smaller side, but this one is a little bit bigger. Um, this one was actually made for a child. So what you do is you put this over your head. So the important thing about this is that so it might be a little bit small on me, on my hair is quite like <laughs> caught all over. So it's going to look almost like a little duck face. It's a little tight on me just because I said this is for a kid. So the two elastic bands are stretchable. Uh, this is good for a teenage or a child, but the actual adult size is a little bit bigger. So it looks a little bit like this, but this part is actually really essential because it actually lets you breathe. So it's awesome for people who are claustrophobic or they have anxiety, phobia, something like that. Uh, but anyone can use it, and this is the most recommended, of course, for the medical health care community as um, they have to wear this for long hours and uh, gives you the best protection.